guys, today we're gonna do a workout using your small Pilates ball. So it's just a very squishy core ball. It's about seven to nine inches is the diameter that you want. You can find these anywhere, Amazon, Target. You can use your kid's playground ball, whatever you have available to you. We are going to complete our whole workout with just this ball. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna take that ball in between the inner thighs. We're seated here and we're gonna come up stacking the shoulders over the hips. I'm gonna hinge it slightly forward here, give that ball a little squeeze, make it into an oval, come up and sink the hips back, keeping that tilt from the torso. So your hips are over or underneath your shoulders, sitting it back and lift it up. So going back with the sits bones open behind you, squeeze to come up. Heating up the glutes and the thighs, not having to stand. It's always a good thing. You don't have to stand up to work out. <laughs> and down, keep a squeeze on that ball and a lift. Working the inner thighs as well. Down and a lift. Last two and a lift. Last one. Good. Lift it up. Now hold it back. We're just going to hold the squeeze on that ball. Hold the legs where you are. Take the arms up, overhead, biceps by the ears, little pulse the hips back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit it up, good job. We're gonna turn long ways on our mat now and keep kicking into those lower abdominals. So we heated up the thighs and the glutes a little bit and now we're gonna work on our abs. So coming up to your all fours position, with your elbows bent and palms underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips, you're gonna curl your toes under. Go ahead, give that ball a little squeeze, but keep your back nice and neutral. So we're not pressing up through the back here. Keep your back neutral, come up, lift those knees just about an inch off of the floor. Give that ball a little squeezes. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the knees. We're gonna repeat that again. So coming on to nice uh, soft elbows. So lock your elbows out here. All right, draw into those abdominals. Inhale as you exhale, press through your 10 toes and lift those knees just slightly. Now from here, you're gonna squeeze in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower it down with control. We're gonna take it out into a full expression of a plank now. So walking our hands slightly forward, taking our legs, legs back, squeeze in on that ball through those inner thighs. Hold your plank here, just hold, nice and tall. Inhale, fill your belly with air, exhale. Tip your pubic bone towards the mat, squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those cheeks, give that ball a squeeze. Now we're gonna drop the knees for 10. Press it straight, nine, press it straight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Straight, drop the knees. Stretch it back, release through the upper body. We're gonna keep our ball right where it is, coming back into some push-ups. So holding the ball in between the knees here, give it a good squeeze, and make a straight line. So drop your hips in line with your shoulders here. Hands are now forward of the shoulders, not right underneath it. Squeeze those glutes, tip the pubic bone towards your mat, wide elbows here. Slow, down, slow, lift away. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Make it a point to slow it down. And exhale, press. Inhale down, squeeze that ball. Exhale, press. Three more. Inhale, exhale, push away. Last two, and press, last one and press it up. Nice job.
job. All right, turning onto your right side. We're gonna take that ball now and place it under your bottom leg. Just take that other foot out there. <laughs> now really press down into that ball with that bottom leg. So shove your ankle down into the ball, almost knead it like a, a bread dough. So you're gonna shoot that top leg out over your hips. You can either come up here and stay lifted through the shoulder, or you can lay all the way down here, it's up to you. I'm gonna try to start here, lifting out of my collarbone, lifting out of my lat, so that bra area. You're gonna take that top leg, tap in front, tap it behind, tap in front, tap it behind, nice work. Now the goal here is to keep the hips completely stable, which becomes more challenging when you have a ball underneath that bottom leg and wants to shimmy your hips all over the place. So hips stacked. If you need to come all the way leg down, please do that. Down and lift, rainbow it up and lift, good. For three, for two, and one, hold. Now you're gonna a little lift with the top leg, press into that ball with the lower leg. So press, press, outer thighs here, press it up. Give that ball some CPR, press down and down. For five, four, three, two, one. Lower that top leg. Good, bring that ball in towards you and we're gonna take it to our top hip. We're gonna lift into a side plank. You're gonna stack your left foot in front of your right, press that right elbow into the mat, lift it up. Hold, find your nice side plank, reach those top fingers, those left fingers long. Now you can stay on your knees here. If this works better for you, you pick. So press into that ball. Press down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down with control. Taking that ball back in between the ankles, squeeze that ball in between your ankles and coming back onto your elbow. Now, we're gonna take the ball, keep it squeezed between the ankles like you have a million dollars inside that ball. You don't wanna let it go. Our heels are gonna be lifted. My heels are in line with my hips, are in line with my shoulders, and my knees are forward. I'm gonna close that top leg, lift it open. So when you lift that top leg, really squeeze with that heel into the ball. Lift, lower, lift it up. Good, hips are stacked here, not moving the torso. Just rotating through that hip socket, working those stabilizing muscles on the side of the seat. Down, lift it up, lower, lift it up. For four, for three, for two, and one, hold it open. Now just squeeze with the heels, squeeze. It looks like you're doing nothing, but you know that if you have this ball and you are squeezing with your heels, you are feeling it in your legs. Good, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down with control. We are going to flip onto our backs now, taking that ball, whoops, mine ran away, you're gonna take that ball with you. From here, you're gonna place that ball underneath your sacrum. So that triangular bone right in between, right below your low back. So it's the junction of your low back and your hips. It's where your sacrum is. You want to, you can readjust it as many times as you need. We're gonna take our legs out to tabletop, but first you want to press your pubic bone up towards the ceiling. So match that ball into the ground with your back, leaving your glutes um, not contracted. So you don't want to squeeze to death with your cheeks. You want to tip that pubic bone up towards the sky and press your back into that ball. Now take your legs into tabletop here. Use your upper body to stabilize you on that ball. This might be a new feeling for some of you. You can take your arms to a low V here. We're going to extend the left leg and bring it in. Extend the right leg and bring it in. So just slowly bicycling the legs. The lower that straight leg is, the more challenging it is for your abdominals. So you can pick. You can keep that extended leg really high. So let's say if you just had a baby recently or you just started working your abs a little bit more. 
good. And you can go lower if you want a little bit more challenge. You just really want to keep that low back pressing into your ball. Out, exhale it back in. And out, exhale back in. Two more. Out, and out. Last set. Last side. Good job. From here, we're going to extend both legs and have a hold. So find a level where you can hold it out. Now you can lower or lift depending on what your comfort level is. I'm going to lower my legs a little bit lower, see if I can really challenge my core to hold that connection. We're just going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring those legs back in. Hug those legs in nice and tight. Good job. From here, you're going to grab that ball. You're going to hold onto that ball. You're going to extend the legs out at an angle that's challenging for you. I'm going to keep mine a little higher for this because now we're going to do a lower ab lift. So you're going to keep the ball where it is. You're going to lift the legs up and slowly come back to the ball. Now, if you need to leave your legs bent, you can bend them here, okay? So bent legs is a little easier to control. Straight legs, it's a longer lever. So down, lift, exhale, come back onto the ball. Hold your ball in place with your arms, press it up. You don't want to come down and not have a ball. And lift. Every time you lift the hips, exhale. Good, it may feel like you're gonna pop your ball, that's okay. Lift, and lower, last two, lift, and lower, last one, and lower, nice job. Go ahead, Whoop. take that ball out from underneath you. We're gonna come up and switch sides for our sideline series. So, on your left side, you're gonna take that ball underneath your left ankle. Take it to the end of your mat here, press it into your mat. You're either lifting up out of your shoulder here, or you're all the way laying down. You pick. All right, if you're here, lift up. Open through that collarbone. Press that leg into that ball. Tap and tap behind you. You can use your top arm for a little bit of support here, but you don't want to death grip your mat. Hips are stacked. Use those abs. Forward and tap back. Tap forward and tap back. You've got it forward and tap back. Lift up out of that chest if you're here. Elongate through the top of your head. Three more. Three, two, and one. Hold that right leg right over your left. Shoot energy out through the toes. A little press into the ball. Lift up towards the ceiling. Press, press for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Lower it down with control. Nice work. Grab that ball, bring it up on top of your hips. So it's lower than your hips, straight arm here, moving into our side plank. Stack that left or that right foot in front of the left. Press up with the hips. Press down with the ball. Press for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Lower those hips down with control. Take that ball in between your ankles, moving into our clamshell. So our hips and shoulders and heels are in one nice long line here. Our knees are ahead of our body. So from here, you're gonna close that top leg and lift it up. Lower and lift, squeeze at those heels. Those feet are externally rotated here, lower and lift, nice job, down, and lift, down, and lift, for six, for five, last four, and three, and two, and one, hold that squeeze of that ball, squeeze in with the heels, ten, nine, eight, seven, draw into those abs for six, Five, four, three, two, one, and lower down with control. Nice job, grab that ball. We're not done with it yet. We're gonna come up, work on some plates. So you're gonna take that ball behind the right leg here. 
and we're coming down onto our forearms. We're gonna step that left leg back. So you're in a single leg plank here. You're gonna press your weight into that left foot, drop the hips down. Now, you're gonna take that knee towards the mat, lift it up. If that's too much for you, you're gonna drop that left knee and hold the plank here. But see if you can challenge yourself to lift up through that ball of that left foot, drop the right knee, lift it up. Drop, oh, lift it up. Squeeze it on that ball, lift, lower, and lift for four. This is hard for three, two, and one. Drop the knees, walk the knees back underneath you. Okay, a little bit of glute work here. So on your forearms, press them out apart. Squeeze that ball, lift it up. Give it three squeezes, three, two, one, drop it down. Lift, three, two, one, hamstrings and glutes. Hips facing the mat, three, two, one, drop it down, lift it up. Three, two, one, drop it down. Two more, three, two, one, drop it down, and lift. Three, two, one, hold that squeeze little pulse. Kick, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Nice job. We're gonna switch legs. So take that ball behind your left knee, taking it down to your forearms. Find your plank position. So walk that right leg back. Drop the hips in line. You don't want your hips way up here. Drop them in line. Lower that left knee. Lift down. Lift it up. Down. Press, lower, lift. Hips are stable, not moving the hips. For three, for two, and one. Drop the knees down, walk them in. All right, glute press the left leg, so lift it up. Squeeze in for three, two, one, drop it down. Lift, hug the ball for three, two, one, drop it down. Lift and press for three, two, one, drop it down. Four more, three, two, one, drop it down. Last three, three, two, one, and drop. Two more, squeeze for three, two, one, good work. Last one, hold at the top. Three, two, one, hold that squeeze, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and lower it down. Take that ball from behind your leg. For shifting back to seated, we're gonna take that ball underneath our ankles at the end of the mat. So press with both feet into your ball. Now you may feel a little wobbly here. My legs want to wobble all over the place. Make sure you have enough room to roll back. Sit nice and tall out of the sits bones and then slowly roll it down, pressing into your ball. When you find yourself down, press into the mat, roll the ball towards you, lift the hips up for three, press that ball into the floor, two, and one. It's challenging, roll that ball back out, press down into that ball, arms overhead, inhale, exhale, peel the vertebrae up, one at a time, stretching over the feet, stacking the vertebrae, nice and tall here. One more time, tailbone, sits bones, wrap it under. Good, take those arms back by you, bring the ball in. Get ready, lift the hips for three, for two, and one. Lower down, press the ball out. Arms overhead, inhale, exhale, lift. Stretch over those feet, stack the vertebrae one at a time, and release off of that ball. Woo. Nice work, that was a good, quick, full body workout, just using this little Pilates ball. Looks innocent, but really adds some extra spice to a lot of the exercises we love, and makes some of the exercises that are harder, a little more accessible. So we hope you've enjoyed this workout and you'll join us again soon. Have a great day.